guys welcome to another meatless monday today we're just making some broccoli and some quinoa okay i have to you know i know a lot of people they steam their broccoli um but i do it this way for my mom because she has to have a lot of her stuff pureed um so what i do is i kind of boil it instead of steaming it because i have to make it super super soft before i blend it up so um, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm using like my two little small pans. And getting this broccoli together for my mom. And then this here and this one is the quinoa. So we're just cooking up some quinoa and I season it. So it has like basil and onion and pepper and um oregano and cayenne and so when this quinoa is done you will see how yummy and delicious it is okay so that's what we're making on this this monday i'll come back to you guys when it's a little more done All right, guys, it looks like our broccoli and our quinoa is coming together nicely. Oh, yummy, 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 yummy. Something else I want to tell you, too, when you're on the journey of trying to just do vegetables and fruit, you want to keep keep an abundance of stuff in your house. Like, this is my little, my little fruit pal in the corner um, sitting on top of my dehydrator. Um, and I got on gloves because... I cut my finger and I also take care of my mom. So, um, but yeah, keep an abundance of stuff so that that way you have more than enough when you are trying to be, you know, vegetarian, be um, um, plant-based, you know, whatever it is you're trying to do. And another thing, I know that broccoli is not alkaline, but my mama likes broccoli. So um, I make it for her. Um, but her health still is, is still doing better, even with what um, I'm doing with her. Even though she's not on a fully alkaline diet, she is mostly what I call plant-based. So let's go ahead and plate some of this. And then we'll give it a taste. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And I did not show you guys me dumping the seasonings in today, but I definitely did use a lot of seasonings. But I was like in the kitchen cooking and I was like, huh, maybe I'll just go ahead and, you know, make a video. So that's what I did. Um, so let's see. Let's taste some. I already know it's hot. I'm going to burn my mouth up. Yummy, delicious, and nutritious. So remember, guys, whether it's Meatless Monday or any day of the week, don't forget to try out new meatless options, okay? Until next time, see you later. Bye.